famous. Okay, so go and take your setup, and then I'm gonna have Gunny use this pink shaft. He's gonna stand behind you like this, okay? Like that, right on his spine. Yep, there you go. Okay. All right, so this is what happens, okay? So go and take your setup. So on your backswing, I want you to show me increasing your left side bend on your backswing. The wrong. Oh, increasing my left? Yeah. I want you to do the opposite. Oh, oh going this way. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Now, a couple things happen there. So first thing that happened is you lost your range of motion of turn. So for you, you tend to left bend on your backswing too much. Okay. And go, and then that makes your head go down. Okay, so do that one more time. Cool, awesome. Now, we're gonna do the right way. So the right way for you, for you, this isn't everybody, just for you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Talking too fast. I want you to feel like your right side crunches and you do not increase your left bend. Now, see the rate of turn and you can, I can actually see Gunny now. See that? 100%. And the reason for that is you, you, you have enough left bend. So it's not that it's not there. You need to feel, in order to get more rib cage rotation, you need to feel that. And what's interesting, it actually helps your pelvis because you don't get that rock to the right anymore. Okay? All right, now go down the line and then, uh, good job, Gunny. Awesome. Okay, now go ahead and do down the line that feel. Uh, no, the wrong. Wrong one. Yep. There. It's hard for you to feel. And by the way, that's more turn than you ever do anyway. Yeah. Okay, now do the right. See how it just frees up? Now, here's the trick, okay? Normally for you, on the downswing, you move your chest and your hips at the same rate. Because basically, you go into left bend, and when you start to turn, your hand path comes out your chest comes out, your hips stop. They tend to match up too quick. So there's no like, quote unquote, X factor stretch, if you want to call it that. So show me the right. So you're going to go to the top, you're going to feel less left bend, more right bend at the top. And then you're going to feel a lot of side bend in the transition as your left hip pulls behind you. Good. Now notice what brought your arms down was the feeling of side bend. Did you feel that? So you didn't independently bring your arms down. Because yeah. what you tend to do, and this is what's interesting, you tend to go to the top, too much bend, you tend to come out and then stand up and go back. So like you go up and you go back. So we don't want this axis going back because obviously that's gonna affect the low point and the face, okay? So show me the right again. And then the, I'll show you what the last piece is. Good, awesome. Kind of already did the last piece. The last piece was not trying to rip your arms left. So you're gonna feel your arms extend down the line. Money, beautiful. All right, let's chip some balls like that. Benny did a good job. <laughs> Cool. Good, good, good. Keep doing that. It's fine. Magical. That's your movement. And what's interesting, if you, you have you ever noticed your right leg, what it does after impact? goes out and it's kind of dead, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, there's talk about like banking the right foot and all that kind of stuff. That's very reactionary. It's more reactionary to the height of the right hip. Well, it's reactionary to a lot of things. It's, re it's re reactionary to the, the direction of the hips or the pelvis and the elevation of left and right bend. So if you think of it, if your right hip's really high, yeah. it's kind of like that. Yeah. 
So when you come down and you go like this, then this goes, oh crap, throw the hip up, throw the knee out. Well now, because this hip is lower and this is ideally forward and open, this will actually look more that way. Yeah. See that? Go ahead and just do it, a... Because it, it, it's this way, you're already there and it's just... It's yeah, yeah, back off, right? exactly. So that right leg looks straighter yeah. and more banked. Yeah. Kind of like Rory. If you watch Rory's leg, yeah. it goes like this and then boom, that way. Right, it kind of straightens out. combination of turning the left hip behind me and creating that right side. Correct. And vertical force. I mean, yeah. if you look at Rory, he's jumping. When I'm going down the line like that, that's why it should straight. Yeah. So, well, so this is a frontal plane vertical force. Yeah. So it's going like, whoo, yeah. that one. Yeah. That's what makes that. And to be fair, like 99.9% .9 of golfers don't do that right. Yeah. Like they, they do the opposite. They, they try to like keep their posture. So let's do one more. Unbelievable.